Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about 10 fastest supercars of 2021. So before starting this video please like this video, and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. While all supercars are fast some manufacturers have taken it to the next level, and produced real game changes. Some people assume that getting a car that can't go fast enough to bend light is pointless. Some of us are wired for speed and automobiles, aircraft, boats, motorcycles, and other vehicles will help us scratch the itch and feel completely alive. Now for those with an insatiable desire for speed a thorough examination of the supercars mentioned below might be in order. These are the most powerful and fastest cars on the planet with results so intense, and shocking that the average person's brain can't fathom what they're capable of. Number 10. Bugatti Bolide. The Bugatti Bolide is a hypercar with a bold personality that makes you sit up and pay attention. It is a beast a very raw and frighteningly aggressive beast that, seeks to defy all expectations and redefine all concepts. The Bolide is built to be Bugatti's fastest and most uncompromising vehicle, which is why it features an 8.0-litre W16 engine with 1,825 horsepower, and 1,364 pound-feet of torque the maximum speed is over 310 miles per hour, and the acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour takes just 2.17 seconds. However it's Bugatti's road races diet that really gets your attention. No one has lost as much weight for a dedicated role since Christian Bale in The Machinist. The Bolide has lost 755 kilograms in total which is equivalent to tossing an initial mini with, a collection of dumbbells in the boot into the trash. It has been saved where weight should be saved. So the drivetrain was stripped down to save weight, the carbon fiber bodywork was held to a minimum every screw, or fastening system was made of titanium, and 3D printed aerospace titanium alloy was used where possible. Number 9. Devil 16. Some automobiles are just too outrageous to be imagined, let alone designed and the Devil 16 is unquestionably one of them. When it is merely sitting still in a garage this demon wears its outrageousness, like a badge of honor and appears to be exceeding the speed of sound. The Devil 16 is capable of transporting up to 5,007 horses and has a maximum speed of 350 miles per hour. The Devil 16 has returned to the Dubai Motor Show, and this time it appears to be much closer to being ready for launch, with a long wheelbase and low profile. With its big twin exhausts the 16 appears like a fighter jet from behind. The Devil 16 will be available in three variants, according to YouTuber Shmi150 who was at the Dubai Motor Show. Number 8. Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. The doctor will probably write a prescription for a Bugatti Chiron Super, to those with nearly $4 million they don't know what to do with, and an unquenchable desire for speed. This is the most extreme variant of the Bugatti Chiron with a top speed of more than 300 miles per hour. There are only 30 Supersport 300 plus models in existence. So those with the means should go get one right away. Bugatti debuted the Chiron Sport A, track-focused variant of the Chiron at the 2018 Geneva Motor Show. The car is mechanically similar to the standard edition, producing 1,103 kilowatts, 1,479 horsepower, 1,500 PS, from a quad-turbocharged W16 engine, but it is 18 kilograms 40 pounds, lighter and has a stiffer suspension to improve cornering ability, while retaining grand touring characteristics. The car's steering wheel has also been modified, and a torque vectoring system has been introduced to regulate the power sent to each wheel for better handling in tight corners. In order to keep the car competitive on the racetrack, aerodynamic enhancements and lightweight have been given special consideration. In late 2018 the Chiron Sport became eligible for an extra US$400,000 over the regular Chiron. Number 7. SSC Tuatara. The SSC Tuatara was released by SSC North America, and the car is a dream to drive with main lines and an intimidating stance. The Tuatara like any other self-respecting hypercar is equipped with a monstrous engine, that can produce up to 1,750 horsepower depending on the fuel used. Its peak speed is said to be over 300 miles per hour. Over the course of 2.3 miles in Florida on January 27, 2021, the Tuatara achieved a one-way speed of 286.1 miles per hour, 460.4 kilometers per hour, and a two-way average of 282.9 miles per hour, 455.3 kilometers per hour. Multiple satellite tracking systems from RaceLogic, Life Racing Garmin and IMRA were used to verify the sprint. 
Shelby clarified that this is just an update on their high-speed testing, and that they happen to set a new world record in the process. Another run is expected to take place in the second quarter of 2021. On the same runway SSC hopes to smash the 300 miles per hour barrier. Number 6. Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute Few cars may compare to the Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute in terms of absolute efficiency. This is a track-focused beast with extreme performance capabilities, and it's in the business of blurring time and space. The Absolute is powered by a 5.0-liter engine with 1,603 horsepower. It is rear-wheel drive and has a rear-mid-engine configuration. The Jesko Absolute according to Koenigsegg, has a top speed of 330 miles per hour. The Jesko has the same, autoscan capabilities, as the Regera allowing for remote door and hood service. The front and rear axles of the car can also be hydraulically lifted. To provide extra ground clearance the doors have been redesigned, to open more outwardly to provide more ground clearance when open. The roof is secured with screws to keep it in place when moving at high speeds. Number 5. Hennessy Venom F5 The legendary Texas-based car tuning company Hennessy Performance, engineering designed the Hennessy Venom F5 to be one of the fastest, if not the fastest cars ever produced. Carbon fiber will be used almost exclusively for the frame and body. Hennessy is the first company to pair active aerodynamics with the body. With fluids the weight is said to be 2,950 pounds, 1,338 kilograms, with a power-to-weight ratio of 1,358 horsepower per tonne it has an average drag, coefficient of CD equals 0.33 due to the use of active aerodynamics and a sleek new design. Hennessy has also put a strong focus on interior space, efficiency, and comfort, stating that despite the vehicle's extreme performance, it will still provide a spacious and pleasant interior experience for tall and large drivers and passengers. An unnamed NFL player who has only been identified as being 6 feet 7 inches tall, was said to have placed an order for one of the first models once full production began. Number 4. Aston Martin Valkyrie the Aston Martin Valkyrie essentially shows drivers a gateway to crazy levels of speed, and enjoyment as Valkyries were said to show Norse warriors into Valhalla. The Aston Martin Valkyrie has a distinctive appearance, and a 6.5-litre V12 engine that produces 1,160 horsepower. This car is essentially a street-legal Formula One racer, and is a remarkable achievement capable of fulfilling even the most intense desire for speed. Nebula was the original codename which stood for Newey, Red Bull and Aston Martin. The final codename was AMRB001 which was chosen because Aston Martin and Red Bull Racing had worked together during the project. The letters AM and RB stand for Aston Martin and Red Bull respectively. 001 may be a nod to the fact that this is the first time the two have worked on a production vehicle. The car's name Valkyrie was revealed by Aston Martin in March 2017, after the Norse mythological character according to Red Bull, the name was chosen to carry on Aston Martin's tradition of V nomenclature, and to differentiate the vehicle as a high-performance vehicle that V was used as the distinguishing factor. Number 3. McLaren Speedtail The McLaren Speedtail was designed with one goal in mind, to get a group of three people from point A to point B faster than anything else this side of a private jet. This hypercar has over a thousand horsepower and a top speed of 250 miles per hour. It can accelerate from 0 to 186 miles per hour in 12.8 seconds, which is quicker than some cars can hit 60 miles per hour. Only 106 examples of this vehicle were produced making it a very small production vehicle. Number 2. Pagani Wiry BC Roadster the Pagani Wiry was as fast as a god's thunderbolt and the Pagani Wiry BC Roadster is a version with even more strength and nice upgrades. It's smaller than the regular Wiry has a removable roof, and nearly 800 horses stamping their feet under the hood. However only 40 units were made which is a heinous crime. Number 1. Lamborghini Shan Roadster. In more aspects than one the Lamborghini Shan Roadster is breathtaking. This supercar isn't cheap and it can't be called moderate because its powerhead be a monster V12 engine. With a top speed of about 217 miles per hour and a price tag of nearly $4 million, this is not the kind of vehicle we expect to see on the road on a regular basis. The Shan Roadster will be limited to just 19 units. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.